Hello, and welcome to the seminar on Biblical Interpretation. My name is Frank Hazel. I'm an Associate Director of the Biblical Research Institute at the Seventh-day Adventist World Headquarters in Silver Spring, and I have the privilege and joy to introduce this new seminar on Biblical Interpretation. Seventh-day Adventist Christians believe in the importance of the Bible. In fact, from the very beginning, Adventist believers have considered themselves to be people of the book, relying on Holy Scripture for guidance in matters of faith and practice. The Bible has always been the foundation of our faith, and it ultimately determines what Seventh-day Adventists believe. Have you ever wondered how come that Christians who all claim to go by Scripture come up with so significantly different conclusions and interpretations of the Bible? How come that even within the Adventist Church, there are some people who come up with at times contradictory and even strange ideas, and yet they solemnly claim that these teachings and ideas are derived from Scripture? Thus more than a simple confession that the Bible is our foundation of our theology and the norm of our faith is needed. This something more centers on the question of interpretation. The biblical word for interpretation is the Greek word hermeneio, from which we have derived the word hermeneutics. So how do we interpret the Bible adequately and correctly? How do we avoid the misuse and distortion of Scripture so that we don't become people who twist the meaning of the Word of God to our own destruction? What factors and presuppositions influence our interpretation of the Bible? And how can we allow Scripture to shape and form our thinking? What can we learn from Jesus and the Apostles that can help us in our interpretation of the Bible? What is the role of our human reason in the process of interpretation? Do we have to sacrifice our intellect when we read the Bible? And what are some foundational principles that are essential for a correct interpretation of Scripture? Is there a biblical hermeneutic, or should we study the Bible just like any other book? What Bible translations are reliable? And how do the different Bible manuscripts influence our understanding of Scripture? Is the Bible only reliable in matters of salvation and theology, but full of mistakes when it comes to historical questions? Why is history so important to our understanding of Scripture, and how does history matter for our theology? What in the Bible is culturally a relative? And what biblical principles can guide us to use a text-centered approach in recognizing what in Scripture is universal in scope and what is not? Are faith and science at war with each other? And what is the proper relationship between the two when it comes to the correct interpretation of creation and other teachings of the Bible? What are some of the important steps that we should take into consideration when we study and interpret the Bible? And what can we learn from the use of the Old Testament by the New Testament writers? Have they arrived at the correct message from the wrong Bible passages? And have they read their interpretation into Scripture, or are they faithful to what the Old Testament writers actually meant? What do we need to take into consideration when we correctly want to interpret the end-time prophecies of the books of Daniel and Revelation? And what about the conditional prophecies in the Bible that pertain to Israel? Is the political nation of Israel the literal fulfillment of Bible prophecy? What can we learn from our Adventist pioneers and from Ellen White and their use of Scripture? What is the role of Ellen White and her authority when it comes to the interpretation of the Bible? And how should we relate to some more recent methods of interpretation that have been proposed in biblical scholarship during the last 50 years or so 
that focus more on the canonical text of Scripture and its literary structures? And what about some postmodern approaches to the biblical text, where it is no longer the text of Scripture that determines its meaning, but it is the reader in front of the text who creates a surplus of new meanings? Or what about a Christological interpretation of Scripture where Jesus Christ becomes the hermeneutical key to determine its meaning and even to criticize the Bible? These are just some of the questions that will be tackled and explored in greater detail in this important seminar on biblical interpretation. It is a fact that our approach to the Bible, that our interpretation of the Bible, directly influences and shapes the outcome of our theology, our message, and our mission. It even impacts our spirituality. Much is at stake here. This seminar on biblical interpretation is presented to you by the Biblical Research Institute of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. In this seminar, 12 respected Adventist scholars and theologians will give you a personal introduction to these fascinating and crucial topics. Listening to these videos will stimulate your thinking as you explore what it means to interpret the Bible according to its own principles of interpretation. You will learn how Seventh-day Adventists interpret Scripture. It is an approach that is faithful to the Bible itself. And if you want to dig a little deeper, you can read more in-depth research on every presentation in this important new book by the BRI, Biblical Hermeneutics, an Adventist Approach. So why don't you invite a friend or your church elders or your church members to study this vital subject together with you? lesson by lesson, one chapter at a time. I think you will be richly blessed and your church members will benefit as well. For whenever the Word of God is studied carefully and with love, the Holy Spirit is at work to open our understanding so that we will want to follow the message of God's Word joyfully and obediently. May God richly bless you and guide you as you explore how to interpret Scripture faithfully and with discernment.